Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're going to have a look at how you can create the filter with the values from the custom fields and then apply this filter to the listing grid. So the first thing you might want to do is to go ahead and create the meta box where you can place the values in the custom fields. In this tutorial, I'm going to be working with the default post type, which is post, and I'm going to be creating meta boxes and assigning them to this post type. So you can simply create meta boxes and assign them to the existing post types, or you can create a new custom post type and while creating the post type, add the needed meta boxes. So let's go to Jet Engine and click meta boxes to create a new meta box. Let's click add new. We're going to give it a name cities and meta box for posts and the post types is posts as well. We'll add a new meta field, give it the title and the name and in the type, I will leave text so I can type in the values in there and I click add meta box. Now I'm going to go to the individual posts that I might want to filter and then I'll just click edit, scroll down and find the meta box that I have just created. So this is the custom field that I now need to fill in. So as I have filled in this field, I'll click update so the changes are saved. And then I'm going to proceed and add different values to a couple different posts. So now when you are done adding the values to each individual post you want to be filtered, then we need to go to smart filters and click add new. You fill in these fields and then in the filter type dropdown, which is, we can choose checkboxes list or we can choose radio, range, whatever you need for your filter. For this tutorial, I go with checkboxes list and in the data source, I'll need to choose manual input. And here in the options list, I'll need to add all the values that I have typed in in that custom field that I have created with the meta box. So I'll add a new option for each individual value. And in the first field, which says value, I'll type in the actual value. And here in the label field, I'll type in the word that will be visible in our checkboxes list. In my case, the value and the label are going to look the same way. So here in the query variable, we'll need to type in the name or in other words, it's also called ID of that custom field that you want this filter to filter your publications by. And here it was city. So now this filter is going to be looking for these values in the custom field that has this name. So I hope it is clear and let's publish this filter. Now let's go and create the listing item that we will later display with the help of the listing grid. We'll need to go to Jet Engine Listings and here we will add a new listing. So the listing source is posts and the post type is posts. And I give it a name and I click Create Listing Item. So here in the Elementor Editor, I'm going to add the title of the post and the featured image. So I want the value from the custom field cities to also be displayed in this listing item. So I'll need to search for the dynamic field widget, add it on a page. In the source, I'll choose metadata. In the meta field, it is city. And now it pulls out the value from the corresponding custom field and go to the page where you want to add your listing grid. So here I want my listing grid to be. Now I look for the listing grid widget on the elements panel. I add it on a page. In the listing dropdown, I'll select the one that I have just created. So as you see, the posts that are displayed in this listing grid also go with the value from the custom field cities. You can see it right there. So, and in this column, I'm going to place my checkboxes list. So in the select filter field, it's going to be this one filter by custom fields. And that is pretty much it. Now what we need to do is to go to the preview and check how this filter works. So now if we check one of these options, the filter is going to only display those posts that have this value that is checked set in their custom field. And you see that this is working. So now you see how you can filter your posts in the listing grid with the help of the filter created with the values from the custom fields. I hope this tutorial was useful. Thank you for watching.